Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, as you see, I am live right here, right now with you, and today is November 26. We are two days away from one of the most rewarding days that I know uh, during this year. Hello, Serajan, how are you? Um, well, as you see, don't you love my logo? I love my logo. And this logo, it just gives me a sense of completion, a sense of, it is zen it is loving it is powerful it is majestic it is graceful just like you today i wanted to come in and talk about being grateful talk about giving thanks and i'm going to segment today's message that the last portion of today's message is going to be um a segment of hypnosis I'm gonna do a guided visualization so we can all of you utilize this and embed loving messages affirmations that gives you a sense of fulfillment and serenity uh, in the meantime I would like to give away something else I give away my heel talk Heal Thy Mind Body book, where there is so much affirmations and informations. There is a section it says, take this to bed. It is information about how to utilize doing self-hypnosis and going to trance state, just drifting into that state of trance, relaxation, right before you go to bed. Another thing is, I'm gonna give you my text phone number and you can text me at any time with any message, with any uh, question, with anything that you want. And that phone number is 818-221-2797. As a matter of fact, you can use this text and reach me at all times, 24 seven. I may not be open and or available uh, during sleep time because I too have to sleep but yet I will respond to you the moment I have a moment the moment I wake up the moment I have a chance to get back to you and it doesn't matter it can be a gamut of questions or about hypnosis hypnotherapy about weight insomnia so yesterday I got a call that this person can't called me for a consultation. I offered a free 15 minute consultation, which I offer to most of my clients. It is a time for us to see if there is a fit, if there is truly what I can help them with. Well, you know, I've heard it all and there is nothing that truly surprises me or gets me off guard of what I can help or not. And there is a limit as a hypnotherapist, stress management or anger management, the things that I know that I am certified and I am, I can say I have the expertise in helping my client, but there's things that I say no thank you to. This one, the message was, uh, the consultation was, uh, I would like to speak to you in person before I let you know what it is that I want to have a consultation for. By all means, I pick up the phone, I call him, and he wanted to see if through hypnotherapy, I can help him change one of the habits that he's had for a long time. And of course, wanting to know what the habit is, he went to say and explain the habit was a fetish that he had and that now that he's gotten engaged, wanting to get married, he wants to stop that fetish because he is very fulfilled and satisfied and does not choose 
chooses not to continue that fetish uh, into his marriage. Well, I, to me, it doesn't matter what your habit is, what the behavior is, and if I can help shift the behavior or the fetish, I could. You know what his, his response was? He said that after calling 11 different people, you are the first person that comfortably told me that this it can be treated just like any other habit or it's a behavioral thing and it can be changed and modified. What? A bit, a f so to me, here's the thing. I'm here to help. Someone asked me who is my client? Who is the person that I help with? Who is my avatar? Well, I had to think about this because I help clients who are six years old with fears of bedwetting, fears of darkness, fears of anxiety, or fears and all kinds of fears that children have, right? all the way to 91 year old that I have helped with anxiety and stress and insomnia. But who truly is my clientele are women between the ages of 30, actually 25 to 55, who are so overwhelmed and that their lifestyle is they have had a traumatic experience in their life that it's affecting them with anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, weight issues, and not being able to sleep. Because the result of that is for them to let go and feel safe, safe in their body, safe in who they are, safe with confidence. So safety is our innate core of values. So is self-esteem. Once any of my clients feel safe, feel confident, feel worthy and valued, that's when they can start changing any habit and behavior. So by doing this, truly it's evoking what was the issue? And it, the issue, just like this gentleman who wanted to shift a fetish and feel as if just letting it go and move forward in his life with his new marriage, with his wife. And that can be done. As long as he knows he is safe, the secret is safe, it's no longer needed, necessary, just like smoking. Once we become a non-smoker, we become a non-smoker. Once we change a habit, we are not born smokers. We are not born with fetishes. We are not born with any of this, right? So it is so possible first to say, yes, I can do this. Just like the check mark of Nike, when Nike had this this, the sign of Nike, you know this sign? And Nike's message is, just do it. So I like to share the same thing with my clients and say, you can, you can do it. You can feel safe. You can change a habit because it is up to you. It's your choice. Frankly, hypnotherapy is just a tool. Managing a, st a stress, managing your anger, managing any of that, I help my clients with tools and techniques. That's it. The rest of the thing, there is no magic. You, my client, is the magic. And I always empower that. I want you to feel empowered of knowing you are the magic, you are the grace, you are the gift, not I. It's like the doctor who does the operation. He has the expertise. He has the tools, the techniques of doing that. 
a doctor does not have to have a heart surgery or a heart operation in order for him to be an expert in being a heart surgeon. But in the meantime, those who go and do a one weekend seminar and then they come and say, I'm a hypnotherapist, well, here's the thing, I've been practicing for 20 years. 20 years of studying, thousands of clients that I have helped feel good about who they are and change what they are ready to change. Because any change we want to do it comes from readiness. It comes from saying yes to yourself. So being grateful, I am grateful to my clients. I am grateful to every everything that I have learned, I have known, I have experienced. So much of my experience comes with my clients. So the other day, uh, a client who walked in not knowing what hypnotherapy is was referred to me by saying just go to Lisa came in with trepidation hesitation and sitting at the edge of the recliner instead of reclining and relaxing and truly wanted to know what is it that she is going to feel? Well, how can I help her with losing the weight? Well, let's put it this way. Within 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, she was smiling because hypnosis is internal. Even right here, right now, as you are listening to me, as you are watching this message, this episode, truly being in hypnosis is you giving yourself permission to close your eyes or without closing your eyes, saying, I value who I am. I am grateful to my body. As a matter of fact, take a cord and say every aspect, every inch, every nerve, every muscle, every organ in your body that is truly functioning without you even thinking about it. And if there is any discord or pain, disconnect, be grateful to every aspect, every inch of your body. Being grateful to your sound mind, knowing that you are intelligent, and many are intellectual. You are loving and lovable. You're also genuinely gifted. And if you could just find the gifts within you, that little nugget, the golden nugget, and realize that everyone has that golden nugget. And I'm going to share a story with you. This story, right here. Hi, Vazganjan. Hi, Arine. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Coco. Hi, Arxi. Thank you for being here. You see this picture? This picture truly sits right across my desk in my office and this was taken when I was in Arizona uh, if you look I'm sitting at the top of one of the most powerful um, they call it energy mountains hilltops it's a rock it's the energy rock in Sedona 
and is absolutely gorgeous. If you've never been to Sedona, please make sure that you do go and visit. And in here, there's all those mountains and the beautiful greenery in the background. So when I went there, I went for a healing retreat. And talk about gratefulness. At this healing retreat, what I did was everyone was writing and recording all the things that they saw that uh, was beautiful. And climbing all those mountains and all the pathways, I sat down and I was bawling. And at that moment, one of the healing, um, my teammates, took this picture and it was a picture with Polaroid. When she took this Polaroid picture and she showed it to me, I looked at it and I said, you know what? I can't find anything beautiful. I don't even, as a healer, I don't even feel the energy of the rock and there is nothing in here that is beautiful. Everything, every picture I took, it's just a rock it's a rock behind me. Uh, I took a picture with a dead tree. A, there was a bark over there, a dead bark. I took a picture with that. And I just did not have anything that was beautiful. I felt depleted. I felt empty. That day was my birthday. It was. Now that I think about it. It was my birthday and it was February 1997. <coughs> wow. Um, that's what I say, body talks. It was 1997 I had just started my hypnotherapy. I had absolutely no clients. I had, uh, I had been let go of a job um, in the legal field and I felt empty. So I had gone to this healing center thinking that being a healer that I thought I was, I wanted to connect and gratefulness came when she sat in front of me and said, what do you feel other than being empty? I said, I am grateful for you. I am grateful for everything that there is. And I started releasing all the things that I was grateful to. Even everything from the past to the present, to family members, to friends, to my toes, to my feet, everything. And when I'm truly talking about gratefulness is for you to appreciate every essence of you. Every essence. Even the mundane things like a mail delivery that your mail gets to you. That when you go to the supermarket and there's food that you want to buy. That when you get to a car and it's your car. And it doesn't matter if you own it, lease it, rent it, Uber it, whatever it is that you have the means to go from one place to another, that you have feet to walk. That's how detailed I became. And then she showed me the picture and she said, what you haven't realized, that right behind you, this entire forest, is all green that you walked all the way all this path onto this rock and you're sitting at one of the most energy rocks mountains you traveled all the way and you are here amongst one of the most incredible healers and there were women who had been practicing healing for 30 years one of them shamans actually there was two shamans so i was truly blessed and yet i felt empty you see there are times especially during the holidays during thanksgiving
when the family comes together there is little bickering here and bickering there the old times when we remember something what if just today what if this thanksgiving you give thanks from the moment you awaken from the moment you oops from the moment you are grateful to even this machine right here the phones the computers technology that we are grateful to being present so what are you grateful to for all of you who are grateful right now I can't see anything who is here I can see who is here but if you can send me if you agree that most people just don't appreciate most of the things until we are reminded of until we take a deep breath even being grateful of the saliva that you just swallowed so for those of you who agree just say number one just put in number one and i can see the numbers if you agree to this go ahead share one share the things that you are grateful for and for those who share the first person who shares actually you know what three people whoever um all three of you three people who are grateful for anything that you share that is truly meaningful to you in your life and it doesn't matter what it is it can be from your pet from loved ones from children from anything even a cup of tea that when you drink it just gives you this sense of nourishing comfort relaxation and a moment to yourself I will gift you one of my books um, it's a, there's a lot of techniques in here there's a lot of tools for you to use on your own so and I want to gift you something else uh, I want to know you to know that all my viewers everyone anytime you want to reach me that it's not via Facebook or something and I'm going to give you this phone number to you 818 221-2797. You can text me at this phone at any time, day or night, it doesn't matter. Uh, of course, when I am asleep, I will not be responding. But the moment I awaken, after I've had my cup of tea, I will respond to anything, any question. It doesn't matter if the question is about weight, about anxiety, about anger. Uh, it can be about... The colors that I like, which you see the colors that I like. Isn't this wonderful? It's powerful. This logo, when I created it, I wanted to rebrand. Rebrand myself from coming from the inside and blossoming into the outside. Whereas the flow and everything that used to be, this... You know, they say transformation begins when you say yes to yourself. When you validate, when you feel safe to say yes to you. And that's exactly what's happening. In the next few days, there is so much more value coming your way. We are bringing massage back to heal within, to help you heal in body. Uh, after 15 years of doing massage, I've stopped doing massages, but I have found a someone who is as good, as caring, as attentive to my clients 
and I trust her massages completely. We are going to be doing deep tissue work, aroma work, uh, lymphatic massages, and just help you release the tension and this sense of wellness and balance rejuvenating from the inside of course taking care of the mind and the body is what we do another thing that is coming your way this online gifts that I'm going to be giving so a lot of value coming to heal within for you so in a way stay tuned so much coming so for the massage December 2nd starting Monday December 2nd you can call you can schedule we are going to be having all of that and all that information is going live today actually tomorrow today 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 uh, you can even sign up with my newsletter and receive our newsletter and be in tune with everything that is coming your way with that so giving away this share one thing that you are grateful for i will send you my book you can text me to 818-221-2797 and now in closing i would like to do a guided visualization so that you can tune in and know that for the next few days or even during Thanksgiving, during times that you may feel a little bit anxious, blue, there is a lot of commotion with family, and no matter what it is, you can find and be connected and centered. Okay, for that, I ask you to sit back Take a nice deep breath and exhale. One more time, nice deep breath. And hold for three, two, one, exhale. One more time, nice deep breath and hold four three two exhale wonderful and as you are doing this i want you to just allow yourself to close your eyes just go ahead and close your eyes making sure that you are in a safe place and comfortable. And with your eyes closed, pay attention to every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue in your body. And no matter what sounds you hear outside of the voice, that is speaking to you at this moment. Let go of any and all sounds and incorporate them within. It's as if hearing it, validating it, and letting it go. Becoming aware of every hair strand, every pore on your scalp, either long hair, short hair, or even shaved hair. Allow every tiny little pore on your scalp to relax. And allow that wave of relaxation to come all the way down to your forehead. Relaxing every single crease. Every line. 
around your eyes, around your temples, down to the ridge of your nose, down to your cheekbones, and around your mouth. Down to your chin, all the way down to your throat. And as you swallow your saliva, being grateful to every aspect of who you are, being grateful to this incredible body of yours that houses you, shields you protects you, safeguards you, moves you. And becoming aware of the pulsation at the tip of your fingers your toes, your heartbeat that has been beating. And if you feel a sensation, a tingling sensation in your body traveling throughout, be grateful to that too. For you can feel you can hear, you can taste, you can see beyond, and you know that you can touch. You are touched by the grace of God and the universal light. You are loved for you are loving. And you allow that wave of relaxation to travel to the back of your neck and drop from your spine all the way down, down to your coccyx to where you are sitting, to your buttocks, and from your buttocks all the way down to your thighs, to your knees, down to your feet. And as you stand up feeling grounded, solid and protected with each and every step that you take, not only on Mother Earth, but in life on every journey, every walk, every pathway that you choose to travel from this moment on. Being grateful to your past. For it is every single experience and connection that has brought you to this moment right here and no matter where you are on thanksgiving day be grateful for being there be grateful for being present And for the first meal that you sit down to nourish and put food in your body. Be grateful for the ones who provided the food from the farmer, from the company, from the drivers, from the ones who cooked it, prepared it, packaged it to the moment that you pick up 
and you place it in your mouth and you taste it. Be grateful for its taste. Be grateful and give thanks to you. This is the essence that when we feel and full and surround ourselves with gratefulness, there is no more room for distaste, discord. So at this very moment, remember something funny, remember something joyous, remember something loving, remember a hug, a touch, or even something, an experience of joy and happy, a joke, and embed that moment of joy and happiness, something loving, something nurturing. And at that very moment, when you smile, you allow your body to smile. You allow yourself to tingle with that love. So at this moment, I want you to be one. And as they say, when we heal, when we heal within, we blossom from the inside out. And we embrace all that there is so that we can evolve to what is it that we want, what is it that we want to create? What is it that we want to share? What is it that you are deserving to receive? Plethora of joy and love. So I thank you for being present and being here. No matter where you are on this Thanksgiving day, may God's light be with you and the universal light surround you. Until next week, I bid you goodbye and wish you times of joy and happiness on this Thanksgiving. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next week. Evoke, embrace, and evolve because you do matter.